I've been latency testing for years and I've always found that SBC is the codec to go for low latency gaming. But then I found this new low latency toggle on the Poco F4 GT. Paired that with a very good gaming mode, the Soundpeats Air 3 Pro here with Aptex Adaptive. Wouldn't that be the best thing in the world? Well, I've tested every possible combination in this video. So watch until the end and we'll find out the best codec to use for gaming in 2022. Selamat pagi. Good morning, everyone. Kenneth here and welcome to my latest latency test video that focuses on SBC AAC and Aptex Adaptive. Now, I cannot believe it's been one year since the last time I did this test and it was with a quite old Snapdragon 855. But today, we've got the latest chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and also the latest QCC3046 chip that according to Peaky Audio, I'll link the video down below, is one of the lowest latency earbuds he's ever tested. So it'll be a very interesting combination to test, especially since on Android, Android, you know, like different combinations will vary the results wildly. So let's get on to the first round of tests here and we're going to check out first the SBC results, then AAC and finally Aptex Adaptive. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, I just wanted to say that I did no further modification other than changing the codex and the low latency toggle I just showed you. And on SPC here, we do get a phenomenal result below 150 milliseconds, but only with gaming mode turned on, not the phone low latency mode. If we take a look further at the results, the low latency mode on the phone itself actually adds more latency for some reason, but we're not gonna talk about that for now. Let's continue and check out the results for AAC. All right, I think it's not a surprise to anyone that the latency is higher than SPC. I never really recommended anyone to use AAC on Android, even though support is better now since connection is more seamless on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. We don't have a pop-up saying, oh, this phone might not support AAC, but still the result speaks for themselves. 200 milliseconds on gaming mode only is still a very good result, but across the board, it still doesn't match what SPC can do. And we still see higher numbers with low latency activated on the phone. So I guess don't turn it on at this point. If this video has been helpful in the slightest, please help me support the channel by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe too for more tech and audio reviews. And with that said, let's move on to Aptex Adaptive, arguably the most interesting part here. You'll see why for yourself.
So did you see that? Regardless of gaming mode setting on the earbuds itself, we got a perfect 150 milliseconds latency and that's just awesome. We finally get to see the word adaptive in action here as it can scale up and down depending on whether we need sound quality or low latency. This is a huge improvement over my previous testing that only reaches 350 milliseconds. And if we take a look at this graph for all the results we got here, we can see that the latency increases the more complex a codec is. But that only applies if you turn on phone low latency mode, which at this point, I just recommend anyone to turn it off if you see the toggle. Otherwise, while SBC holds the absolute lowest number here, but I can start to see how Aptex Adaptive can be appealing since you don't have to bother toggling gaming mode anymore. It'll just automatically have low latency when you're playing games and automatically sound good if you are listening to music. And so what an interesting finding we got today. I'm really glad that Aptex Adaptive gets better over time. And the future is looking even brighter because we will have Bluetooth LE audio and also the LC3 codec that is simpler than SBC. So maybe this latency could be even lower. Who knows? But for now, I gotta say, thank you so much for watching. I'll be uploading my recommendations video soon. Stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.